In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix vRising crashing and not launching on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, and then select update and security, and now click the check for updates button. And if an update's available, Windows will go ahead and install that update. Once you have updated Windows, you now need to ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. And if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. And you now need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have a GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to download a driver for an Nvidia graphics card and then 1660 Super. I will pop the links in the description below to Nvidia, AMD and Intel where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. I will also pop some links in the description below on some guides that we've done on how you can do that. So once you've updated Windows and updated your graphics driver, go ahead and launch vRizen and see if that resolved the issues you've been facing. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is go to the location where you installed the game. If you're not sure where you installed the game, then you can find this out through Steam. All you need to do is open up Steam. Once Steam's open, right click on vRizen, go to manage, and then click on browse local files. Now you're in the location of vRizen, you need to right click on the vRizen.exe, the one that says application under type, and you need to go to properties, and you then need to go to compatibility, and you now need to tick run this program as an administrator, and press apply and OK. Go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixed the issues you've been having. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is just close everything down again. And you now need to ensure that your security software is not blocking fee rising from launching. If your security software is blocking the game, then it's going to cause the game to crash and not launch. If you're using Windows Defender Firewall, I will show you how to accept the game in the Windows Firewall and also how to disable the Windows security. If you're using a third party software, then normally a lot of them come with a game mode or a passive mode. Try enabling that mode, and if that doesn't help, then turn off your security software just for a temporary period of time, just to test the game. Obviously, just keep in mind, while your security software is off, you are not protected from security threats. So obviously do this at your own risk. So to accept the game in Windows Firewall, you need to right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. We now need to click on update and security and you then need to click on Windows Security and open Windows Security. Next, you need to go to firewall and network protection and we then need to select allow an app through the firewall. You will now see a list of all the programs that you allow internet access you need to just press somewhere in the list and press V. And you should see V rising, and you can see it's got a tick under private and public. If you don't see V rising, then you need to click on change settings, and you then need to click on allow another app, and then browse for the game and press add. And you then need to tick private and public and press okay. So now we've added the game to our firewall. If yours wasn't added, go ahead and launch the game and that should have resolved the issues you've been having. If it didn't, then the next thing to do is try turning off the Windows security just for a temporary period of time. So we need to go back to Windows security, virus and threat protection, and you then need to go to manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. You will see real time protection. Go ahead and toggle this to off. Now launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then we now need to completely close down our security and you can turn on real-time protection again. And you now need to just ensure that you don't have any other programs open when you launch vRizen, as one of these programs could be conflicting the game, causing it to crash and not launch. That also includes programs that customize your mouse and keyboard, and also programs that monitor your hardware and overlay software and things like that. Just ensure everything is completely closed down. If it wasn't an issue with a program being open and you have overclocked your computer, try removing the overclock settings if you know how, just in case 
there you're causing the issue with the game crashing also if none of that helped then the next thing you're going to want to do is open up steam again once you have steam open you now need to go to your game library and then find fee rising and right click on it and go to properties you then need to ensure under general that you don't have any launch options entered if you do go ahead and remove those options and then launch the game if that didn't help go to local files next and then click on verify integrity of game files this is going to ensure that none of the game files have become corrupted or missing if steam does detect an issue then it will attempt to repair the file so that now brings me to the end of this video I hope this helped resolve the issues you were facing with Fee Rising. If it didn't, then the next thing to do would be to uninstall the game and install it again. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.